Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's come to the second video we're doing testing how good is the F-16 at dogfighting versus the other aircraft in DCS. We've done a video one where we looked at some very basic data to compare them. Power to weight ratios in certain configurations. Um, what else do we have guys? Wing area to weight ratio and stuff like that. And then we went and did some flying and we what we did is F-16s versus the world in, on equal terms with equal pilots. We got seven kills to the world, six for the Viper, the Falcon. So the Falcon lost the first round. Here is round two. We're going to go and do an hour of dogfighting again and try and keep it roughly as even as possible in an organised fashion, even as scientifically as we possibly can. Never going to be fully scientific. And this time, the theory we're going to look at today is going to be EM charts. I mean, there's so many EM charts we could look at that, you know, we could spend hours doing it. So we're just going to have an introduction to them today. We're comparing what we consider probably the two most alike fighters that we'll be seeing fighting today the f-16c block 50 versus the mirage 2000 i assume it's a c yeah it is this tells you how a fighter can turn how good a fighter is at turning sustained turn instantaneous turn and anywhere in between at certain parameters so we haven't had enough time to get these fully perfectly comparable if it's even possible but for instance mirage 2000 c we've got here this is at 15,000 asl with max power with 50 percent internal fuel with two r55s and 250 rounds of ammo at that combat weight and then the f-16 st in this case we've also got 15,000 asl we've also got 10,000 asl from different sources but we couldn't find exactly the same configuration this one here has got full fuel and two what was it two amrams and two sidewinders guys that's the BMS chart, so that's that's uh, two AMRAMs and ECM. Okay, and this one here, 10,000 feet, and this is a much lighter Block 50 16C. Is it 26,000 pounds? It's probably half fuel. That's, no, that's basically full fuel without the pod. Okay, and, Roger, but then but the, the outer, every one of, the, every one of these parameters makes a difference okay so the weightage makes a difference the altitude makes a difference and so on in an ideal world we'd have every fighter and we'd compare them at every altitude but we just don't have time so let's try and understand these em charts so at the bottom we've got the speed of the aircraft from mac naught up to mac whatever and that can be converted into knots we've got um K CAS here on the Mirage, you can convert the map to knots at that particular altitude. And what we can find is the envelope of performance within certain parameters. So if we look at the Mirage first, it seems to be the best written to me. So that's our speed. On the left on all of them is our turn rate, our a number of degrees per second that we can turn. Two degrees per second, 16 degrees per second, 22, 28 degrees per second. Our envelope is encapsulated by this guy here, the thing I'm the control I'm drawing and that contour will always look roughly the same there's the f-16 one at this altitude notice that the top is kind of capped for some reason and this is the f-16 at f-16 10,000 feet and so on and all fighters will look roughly about the same shape next is the load factor it's this part of the web these contours here are g 1.1 g 1.5 g 2 g 3 4 g 5 g 6 g 7 g 8 g and 9 g and they're all going to cap out about 9 g so that there is 9 g that contour there F-16, that contour there is 9G. You know, you can't turn tied to the 9G. Your, par your pilot will pass out. Uh, and that is your 9G there. What else have we got? We've got turn radii, which are very important. Coming out on these little spider webs here are the radiuses, radii of the turn. Radius 4,000 feet, radius 3,000 feet, radius 6,000 feet, radius 8,000, 10,000, 20,000 feet, okay? So that's what that is. Or they can be extruded through here. You can see the mirages, 5,000, 4,000, 1,500 feet. Oh, and sorry, one more. And I still don't fully understand this. This is actually my first time actually looking at these EM charts. So I'm just going to say it as I understand it. If you want to sustain a turn, um, so what I've done with when I've looked into uh, comparing jets in DCS is I've gone for a sustained turn. It's just easiest for me to measure uh, quantifiably and compare looking at sustained because it's a, it's a very simple uh, thing to look at. So if the sustained envelope is this one here, you see I'm drawing there, and you can tell that it's set, you can tell that because the PS is at zero, so there's no increase or decrease in speed. It's sustained, and this is where my knowledge breaks down. Breaks down the 200 up here. I think we're probably losing 200 something per second. 200 not per second. It's feet per second. But you're, you're, it basically means at those at those speeds that you're sustaining said turn, you're not losing any turn radius. Right. So so you see where uh, at the very end, at the very right, where it gets that 9G, right? Yes, you can do what's it? 9Gs at Mach 0.8, right? But you can't sustain that. 
Because you're you're you know you're going to be dumping speed and whatnot at ninety. Roger, yeah. Roger. So just to confirm, what I said is right, isn't it? Under the PS zero curve, you can sustain that you know until your fuel runs out. That's right. Whatever it? whatever turn it, it is that you're at, whatever line. So you put your line where four G's at, for example, four G's at just about Mach point four, right? Or is it you know Mach point six at six G's, etc. etc. Right. Okay, I've shown you my understanding, everyone at home. Like I said, it's my first time looking at these, so feel free to correct me. It's something we're all going to have to start looking at and learning a lot more. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do a bigger, pres proper presentation on it next time. I mean, these these are hard to look at. It'd be great if we had some brains out here that could convert this into a kind of a 3D map um, and allow us to compare these fighters by overlaying 3D, kind of cool 3D maps. Someone out there will be able to do this. These are literally like mountain contours, aren't they? You could kind of um, do that. Anyway, as a quick example, we can see this Mirage 2000 in this config at this altitude, the best it can sustain a fully sustainable turn without losing uh, any rate, it would be about here, which would be about 12 degrees per second. Now, if I jump to my own results where I've done optimal peak sustained turn rates, I've done the Mirage 2000 C in DCS with 50% gas uh, and no stores. At I got an optimal of 380 TAS, which is basically the same thing as CAS at sea level. This is sea level, and we could get 20 degrees per second sustained. So, it'll just show you we can get 8 degrees per second higher at um, sea level rather than 15,000, obviously, where it can't turn as well. So, I know we haven't really done a great deal of useful comparison. It was just really an introduction for us and you guys into these EM charts. And the next thing we need to do is source more ones that are directly comparable and start to compare them for next time. Before we talk about dogfighting, anything else you guys want to mention about these EM charts or how you could use them or stuff that I've missed or whatever? Don't get caught up in the turn rate. Look at a turn radius as well because, for say for example, the F-16 will slightly, it'll always slightly outturn the F-14 as far as rate is concerned, but the F-14 can be inside the F-16's turn circle all day. Why, why is radius important? Radius means if you if you can okay, so and I've seen this happen a lot of times when I was flying the Hornet. The the Hornet can be holding his max sustained turn rate um, at like 350, 330 knots all day. The Mirage can be sitting in there, turning ever so slightly at like two 180 to 250 knots inside the F-18's turn circle if he wants to. I'll be, he's going to be slow in a sitting duck for anyone else that wants to pick him off. But if you can stay inside someone's turn circle, you don't, you're already, you've already effectively do, uh, controlling his fight. You're in, his, uh, you're in your control zone. This dogfight thing is very complicated, isn't it? And that's one thing I, I've missed there. We can actually see the tightest radiuses, can't we? So we can see here uh, where this envelope, um, the very tightest point that this guy can fight is 2,573 feet radius. And the Mirage is there, 1,500 feet there, minimum radius. And this guy here, 1,935 feet. So that's something of interest. One thing I've learned today is that these EM charts are really complicated. They're dynamic. And to be honest, I don't really have the experience or intelligence to actually analyze these. Like you were saying, sustained turn rate is only so useful. We need some proper teacher to come in and teach us all this. But and let's talk about dogfighting a little bit more as we've got Warren with us as a rare treat. What we're testing, Warren, is how good is the F-16 against the world, everything else. Uh, that's what we do. Every time a new plane comes out, we take that plane and we just throw everything at it. Can you tell us what you think about some advantages and disadvantages of the F-16 against the various other fighters in DCS, F-14, F-15, F-18, Mirage? Well, I'm a little bit rusty, I have to admit, but from what I've from what I've observed, uh, it's, it, it definitely turns tighter and quicker than, um, than a lot of the... Uh, jets that we've gotten in DCS so far. However, uh, with the F-16 design being designed for a uh, sustained high G, and we have current limitations with DCS where um, where the pilot will simply black out if mm -hmm. you're pulling X amount of G for too long. And that that's a bit of a handicap in the F-16 because that's, that's where the F-16 is supposed to shine. I um, see. So it's, a hand, so it's, it's hamstrung by the G block. That and the F-16 has always been notorious for um, not being the best at slow speeds. Like one thing I've been told by uh, by Viper pilots is the F-16 can't do high AOA 
But at the same time, unlike other planes where they need AOA to turn, the F-16 doesn't need AOA. It just it just turns on its own. Like that's why, like it's got a limit at 25, 25, 26 degrees mm. AOA. Yeah. But but at the same time, I mean, with flyby wire and the way the F-16 is, because it's so light, you could be at 250 knots, and you're still turning fairly well. You're you're not gonna win a turn fight any any anytime soon. But in the F-16, you'll you'll feel somewhat comfortable and you've got the roll authority as well but you still don't want to find yourself in any kind of a scissors or stack situation that's weird because again i, I just I, I love the f-16 but i don't know anything about it really um in terms of you know actually its flight dynamics i didn't un understand it was a bad low speed uh, maneuver so that's something i've learned today it doesn't have the nose point ability but you can control the direction where you're putting it but it, but you're not going to be winning a scissors against a, a, or a stack against a F-18 or a Mirage any time. So, out of one thing you picked up, you you said that the F-16 is a good uh, turn freight fighter. I think you said that it's a raid monster. It's it's made for raid. What it's is a graph it? Fighter. It's a graph fighter. What is it about that F-16 that makes it good? Is it the engine? Is it the wing? What is it? Do we know? It's light. It's got a one big fat motor. It's no compromise. If you look at something like the F-15 or even the F-18, it's got some chonk to it because, you know, twin engines and, of course, being designed um, for uh, more, how to say, more capabilities. What the F-16 was designed from the get-go to be just your uh, your daytime your daytime VFR fighter, you know, from, from, from the ground up. It was designed to be basically the best dogfighter of its time. And it still and it still holds its holds to its own after after forty years of its. Uh, yeah, since it's there's no doubt about it. Um, uh, final question then. Uh, so we're gonna throw some various other fighters against it, and we've I understand now that it's hamstrung by its turn. You know, it's it's G it's G lock problem, which is you know it's a thing. Um, what would you say? Because. The last week, uh, the F-16 lost. The other fighters beat it. What do you think for the F-16 pilots today is going to be their best technique, generally, for winning a dogfight in an F-16? Keep your speed up and use the vertical. All right, I'm going to keep my speed up. I'm going to use my vertical plane. Okay, guys, anyone else? Warren's had lots to say. Anyone else want to say anything before we go and do some dogfighting? Okay, guys, we're in as last time. Same rules. So... We're going to start with 1v1s, then we'll move on to group matches. We'll just rotate pilots because we want good pilots to be in F-16, good pilots to be world and, you know, changing and swapping. So just keep things roughly fair. What you do is when we start, when I call you to start, then you'll start 20 miles away from each other. Angel's 15 or 16. You have to fly towards each other. So you, well, simple as that. Uh, you can deviate from altitude, but you can't go like 10,000 feet below the other guy. You both have to merge in altitude and azimuth okay so you've got to work together um to, for that if you want to go up make sure the other guy's going to go up with you as well okay guys um once you've merged then you can start firing there's no point of doing missiles before we merge because it's, it's just gonna get boring missiles everyone has the closest i could get to aim nine mics now some of these planes just don't have that su-27 unfortunately the best i could get was the hob the r-73 the f Five has an older missile, but otherwise everything should have, should have aim line mic or magic, which is pretty much an aim line mic. Um, and you've got your gun. I don't have gun sight in F-16, but go suck a lemon. That's just how it is. Uh, use your tracers. That that. Any questions otherwise on how we're going to do this? Can I have? Oh, uh, it's going to be Warren. Can I have the first non, the first aggressor, single aggressor? Um, just call me your name, and then I'll tell, I'll tell you to go because otherwise you'll be. Who wants to go to aggressor? <sighs> Fuck, it's going to be me, I suppose, isn't it? All right, start with something nice and easy. We're going to be an F-15. Do you want to got. fly the 16, Captain? Um, I'll be fine. We've all got to chop and change. That's that's the rules. Um, so I'll be an F-15 to begin with. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'll do a 3, 2, 1, go. And we're just going to go. If there's some lag in spawning into the cockpits, we'll just restart. Otherwise, I can't think of everything. Right, um, obviously none of us have practiced or warmed up, so we're going to be shit. Are you ready, Warren? For the sake, can Warren not fly in a straight line? Yeah, he hasn't got the skills for it. There's no G warm up there now. G warm up. G warm up. G warm up. Oh my goodness. Remember G warm up only lasts for 90 seconds, guys. So do it just before the merge. Well. Oh wait, only lasts 90 seconds? Yeah, only lasts 90 seconds. So that's what we've done. I found in the test. So 
do it just before we've had to merge, you know, roughly speaking, you know, within limits. Come on, Warren, fly straight at him. He's doing his G-Warm, he's doing his exercises. He's a really keen cyclist who has to do all the stretches and warm-ups. Okay, guys, what do we think? I'm going to beat him in this hunk of... Alright, almost there, not yet. How keen Warren is. I'm going to do what he does. Three, two, one, huh? merge. Fight side. Missiles is loud, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna win this, Warren. I can already tell I'm gonna win this. Fox 2. Bastion! Left engine fire. <laughs> Right oh. engine fire. I wasn't really using to I did get a missile Radar off of me, didn't I? Failure. Oh, uh, you got a missile off. Oh. Well done, Warren. You, you win. You, you fired some bullets Left at him, we'll say that much. Okay, you have to play aggressors as well, Warren, because right you're probably the best fire. here. Everyone back to spectators, please. Bear, I'll go F-16. Um, Bear said first, so Bear go to F-16 <laughs> against Shifty in the SU-27. Yeah, 2,000 foot offset here. In three. Two. Merge, fight on. Look at that Falcon go! Look at him go! Shifty's gonna nail. Shifty's blind. He's got a, yeah, he's got a hob in that thing. He's just gonna launch like 70 degrees off. No, bears give you the line of sight right up. Like you don't want to get seen a lot. That's one of them. That's another one of the Falcon we haven't talked about. It's small. Hard to see. Here it comes. I have no idea where he is. That's good. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're over to each other. One's over the other, I can tell you that. Directly. So it's merge times two now. Obviously, the F-60 is at highest at 20,000. <laughs> Keep surging, you'll find each other. You're you are merged still, both of you. Somebody has used a vertical scan, please. There you go, Shifty. That's how bad it is. They found each other. We're good work, boys. Good work. He pressed the wrong button. Oh, shift his down. <laughs> the mighty, the mighty gets sent down. I like that. Two to the F-16. Today's a good day. I actually would like to fly an F-15. I've only flown the F-16 okay, a few times. Okay, Squiddle, you can be an aggressor. Anyone that wants to be an F-16, otherwise I'll go and do it. Okay, guys. Right. Three, two, one. Spawn, find each other on CRM, and just be patient. Hold straight. Three. Two, one, Merc. Woohoo! Look at him go. That was 9G from Warren there. Take note of his flares. Perfectly even. Just inside each other. Look at that, boys. They both went for snapshots, so they both stalled themselves doing it. That 15. That 15 goes. Oh, it really oh, goes. That Falcon is in trouble, boys. Oh, screw up. Oh, we just gave him distance. I'm surprised he didn't get a snap gun train. Oh, ho, ho. Quick, screw up. Guns, guns, guns. I just don't have that slow speed when you were building yeah. on oh, it's it's a gun sight. We can see it. Dead. Dead. Well done. Are you dead, Warren? Who's alive, I think? Does it look like does it look like I'm alive? Well you're kind of spinning around in circles, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if there's a tactic or not. Well done. Okay everyone. That was a good fight. Bro. Really good fight that guys. That's how it should be done. We're gonna get some more of them. Okay, out of you go guys, because we need to get back uh, well not quite so good pilots in as well. Um so that was a win for uh aggressors annoyingly. Go on, Shifty. Oh, if you want to go, no, you go, you I go, because I'm already out of I do want to go. Go on, someone. Aggressor. Who wants to be an aggressor? Let me guess. The best guy in the best plane. Oh, I've got Crash, Crash. in an F-14B. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to take you to town, Crash. Fucking hell, I can't even remember to use the radar. Okay, there. Up, up. Okay, got an STT. Power on. Crash, you've got Warren as a Rio. 
Full disclosure, I don't know how to use the radar. You, you yeah, need to. You've just got to be an eyeball, so... Yeah, and tell him about speed, because he doesn't have a speed dog on the hub. Stand by to merge in three. He's in the cloud. Two. One. And... Merge. Left one. Yeah, very fast, Cap. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I haven't got it, I haven't got it, I haven't got it. Speed's 450 knots right now. Why? Why would the fucking foresight work? Alright, I'm just gonna concentrate flying because my weapons aren't working. Uh, Six o'clock low. Uh, shit. Gotta go Can't into your over 500 CRM mode. Yeah. I mean, your ACM mode. Oh shit! Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, I've got it. I've got it now. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Right. Flying the plane, fly the plane, fly the plane. Six o'clock, he's going low. Hello. The missiles aren't working, I don't know why. They're just not working. Speed back up. Uh, you're uh, you're you into the sun, buddy. Oh, fuck. You need, no, you need you need to put it in the bore mode. If you're in slave right now, it's only going to be with the radar. 12 o'clock high. Going guns. Reverse, 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 reverse. Reverse your turn. Down, down, down. Lift vector, lift vector. It's lag. Lag the suit. Where you going, friend? Where you going? So you mean about the turn radius now? I can control this easy. Altitude. Altitude. And radio's blacked out. If he gets into a deep lag pursuit, just reverse your turn, you should be able to force him over. Straight. You gotta back off that throttle cap. Yeah, Roger, I'm just figuring it out as I go. That's more like it. Now I'm in the zone, boys. Now I'm in the zone. Okay, reverse struggle. your turn. Reverse your turn. Reverse your turn. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Force nice. him into a scissor. But see you later. High. He's gone high. Oh. 12 o'clock. Lift vector, lift vector. Hi, hi. Collision. Back down, back down, back down, back down. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a rolling scissors. This is a good fight. Now it's about energy. Here we go. No, it's not about energy. Oh, oh, that's a hundred foot missile shot. <laughs> yeah, it is when you have better slow speed turn than, than he does. I mean, yeah, for sure. That's why. Why do you think I put him into a scissor? Okay. Exactly. And the funny thing is, the F-14 can outrate the Viper, kind of too. Hey boys, look at him struggle, look at him struggle! Keep your, speed, keep your speed, keep your speed, keep your speed. If he's faster than us, he can come back around on our ass. Give me 300 knots if you can. For 250 right now, how about? Altitude, altitude. Gotta get him, I gotta get him! Get that speed back, you can't do anything. He's probably doing 250 knots. Keep your speed, keep your speed. Like a, it's just like a picture. Energy Nothing. management. I am trying to get my 330, but other than that, so it's not if like you can see move. here, cap and cap has the turn rate, but since we're inside, it doesn't really matter that much. I right, now see if you can force yourself up into the bubble. Cap's gonna match. Try not to get too slow though. Okay. 
watch the ground. Yep, got it. Alright, we've got him. We're Good approaching his control zone now. Alright, we're going to go get him! Pull, 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 pull. Be a little more I'll let you know when we turn. start getting too slow. Come on, F-16! Power! Okay, put the doors on him and kill him! Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Yeah, get the guns, get the guns. Ooh! Yes! Nice! Loser! <laughs> Cap is back in town! Nice reverse. Damn it. Oh, good fight. Now, Viper versus a Tom Kid is a very good fight. Straight back to where we started. Yep. He's just about to get his nose on. Yep. Oh, look at that! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of gas! Uh, yeah, no, uh, ah, yeah. you bastard. Tomcat winner. Here we come, here comes the via, via I just, gas. I just couldn't do it. There's, um, you know, I just, I, he was always, always slightly turning with me and I couldn't get inside it. Alright, back to Spectator. Uh, aggressive wins. Okay, guys, so far it's 2-2. Two, two. So we're together. Can we have a F-16 pilot, please? All right, SU-27, Squiddle, Shifty F-16. Stand by. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, that's different. It blocks you down to about 7G, that flanker. It's so annoying. I was like, I couldn't flare, did I forget my to do something? Oh. oh no, I have the uh, fucking friendly marker. Oh, oh, oh. why did we stop off, sir? I had to turn off my radar because it wouldn't shoot, give me launch authority. Really? Oh, oh, right. Friendly. I was wondering yeah, that's why, that's why I radar. couldn't shoot. Uh, when I was uh, in the flanker, I couldn't shoot. Well, I'll, after this, I'll go and change it and put them to 20 miles as well, because. Stupid. Nice. Well done. Superior missiles. Got hot missiles. Okay, oh, guys. look at that. <laughs> wow. Did you have trouble locking there, Shifty? Oh, you won. No, no, no problems at all. Just going to get the nose on him. Oh, fair play. All right, can everyone go out? Because I'll just can fix... I, can I fight somebody normal? Okay, guys. Uh, that was round five. And the aggressors are winning, annoyingly. So, we've now got Whistler in an aggressor F-14. Um, which is a bitch of a plane to fly. And can we have someone in the uh, F-16, please? Someone who wants to fly. I'll always be. A Rio too? I'll always be default for F-16. So if you guys don't want to fly, I'm happy to fly it. But I'm not. A good I've, I've just flown, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to go fly. for it, Shifty. Go. Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, someone's welcome. Someone's welcome to jump into Whistlers from a Rio. Three, two. Ooh, I would like to. Yep. In you go. Three, two, one, go. Good merge, well done. Oh, look at Whistler go! Let's rip those wings off. No clock. It's below us. Flare out. So closely matched. Look, they're mirroring each other perfectly. Well, what are you going to do, boys? What are you going to do? Shit, he's behind us. Six low, six low. Up. 
flare, 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 flare. Miss. Wow. Great dodge. Very Great dodge. On our six, close. Gotta do some of the pilot shit. Exactly. Good luck with stuff. Tiny cross at the top of the HUD uh, shift is your gun cross. Your gun's not fire. Reverse. Uh, make sure you're right. on dogfight guns mode, otherwise the gun won't work. There you go. Good shit. Is it still alive? Mm, I think so. Your guns okay. are fine, the top guns are fine. It's going around on the six. A match. Oh shit. Ooh, there oh, we go. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Where's he gone? My new one was never killed. Oh, yeah, there you it, go. Yeah, we, it lost turn. Yeah. It's not an easy plane to fly, that's a real buzz. Okay, guys, I think that will be the end of the singles, and it's 3 3 at the end of that. Next, we're going to go into the um, into the team. So, back to spectators, everyone. Uh, so let's see how many we've got. Nine. Great. So we can start having four versus four. So everyone wants to be an F-16. I'm not flying, Cap. Okay, that's fine, Ella. <laughs> Give me four F-16s and four aggressors, anything you want, but don't go in yet, please. We've got Shifty F-14, Whistler F-14, uh, Kelso F-18, Squidlin is Pesky F-15, me, Warren, Take whatever you want me to. Oh, I don't care. Um, I've swapped, I've swapped the team. Just remind me, guys, how do I get the bloody flares to come out on this? Oh, it's because... Do I have to turn... Any... Um, yeah, an easy shortcut solution for now, Kat, would be map whatever you button you want to right now to shaft slash flare, uh, flare dispense. Roger. That's going to give uh, two two pops per of chaff and flare per... I'm going to have a play. Okay, I've got it working. I'm the one counting the measuring, guys. Or just fly by me. I'm fine. Yeah, just right, concentrate crap. What I want to see I've got a soy. I'm gonna go lock them up in uh, 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 STC. I'm just gonna fly by you, Warren, so you can follow me. Aggressors, make sure you keep together. Bike. Bike. Here we go, boys. Let's friggin' do this shit. Okay, I'm gonna hold it 450 knots. Slightly below them. This is gonna be one hell of a merge, boys. I'm afraid I'll lock for some reason. Oh god, here we go. Hey Squiddle! And... Yeah. Merge! Oh, Tomcat's down already! Woohoo! Easy meat, boys! How's that heat blur module? Did I crash module? into someone? I oh, just pulled it off. No, I didn't! I gave a gentle pull. Well, I have complained about this, and everyone just off. says I'm shit. So, right. I'm Who's I'm flaring? Who's flaring? Who's flaring? Who's chaffing? Well, if it's an F-16, don't shoot it. A 16 is flaring. Shit, too fast. Missile out from Hornet. Fucking hell, come on. Ups. Missile out from Hornet. Mm. Missile, missile, missile. Missile, missile, missile. God, I'm flying ship. Fuck you. F-15, F-15, guns on the Viper. Yeah, I'm hit, but I'm okay. Box two. Who's that on? Splash Eagle. Altitude. Fucking Hornet. Altitude. Got a band on my six. Well Looks done. Like Hornet. I'm on the Hornet. Yes, good splash. Good splash. Okay. Regroup. What's alive? What's a threat? Countermeasures out periodically. I've got a horn on my no nose. Fox 2. 
I seriously ripped my wings off at 450 knots. Yeah, it does that, doesn't it? Altitude. Altitude. I don't BS. get it. That's why I don't fly the fucking thing, which is just ruining your day. That's it. That's game. Well done. Warren has a hole in every part of his plane and is missing a stabilizer. Roger. And then Gap's also missing a stabilizer, but you're all fine. That is a that's bit silly, but... That's a damage model, that's what that is. That's what we get at the moment. So guys, this is something yeah, at least my rudder doesn't work. So I can't get my fucking... Uh, what am I doing wrong here? I can't... I'm sitting here in dogfight mode. So there's dogfight. If I press TMS up, I don't get my... Um, I don't get my foresight. What's going wrong? My you have control. to be in dogfight mode. Now. I'm in dogfight. It says, says so Does it say arm dogfight? It says arm, it says dogfight, but if I press TMS up, I don't get the ball sight. Switch out, switch out of ACM mode. Does, does, it, does it look like a cross on your HUD cap? Or are you talking about your HMD? Okay, it was a bug. Uh, you have to go back You have to go back to BFM and then back to ACM. So I know how to, I know how to sort it out later. now. Thank you. Wait, were you saying? Um, so everyone back to potato. Do you want to do the same teams or change? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Okay, um, out of your aeroplane. I know we haven't got a proper damage model, but, you know, just deal with it for now. I was just saying, I shot one down, one F-16 down. Yeah. No, none uh, of them went down. A riddle, uh, Swiddle strafed me as well, but... Okay, guys, say match, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna put my burners on straight away, boys, so you can find me. 12 o'clock. One of them's high. Four seventy and holding. Shut up, Jester, that's not a buddy. Range 99 miles, apparently. Good game. Two miles. Two miles out. Merge. It's a fucking fiber block, that idiot cat. Fucked up. Good job. Good job. Man, did the flares do nothing in this damn thing? That's tough. I've been, I've been watching the missile launches flaring, and not everything keeps hitting you. Normally you flare missiles and then miss. What's that Tomcat? He's on the... No, that's right. We're safe. Oh! Cap's taken out. Well done, someone. It's all about that F-15 now. F-14's got an engine out, but it's still going. I see the F-15's tactics now, that's quite good. Oh, what, what happened? Swiddle! You didn't see Warren! You didn't see no, him! No, I saw him, I, I cut my engine yeah, you and saw popped the like 50 flares and it just well, didn't work. Yeah, exactly, the, the, the F-16 are not missing with their sidewinders, very often. Well, I'm happy with it, what can I say, boys? But it all, no, from what I've seen also, uh, the, the F-16 can't pop out enough chaff or uh, enough flares to dump the missiles, it's... I don't know if the missiles. No, no, really no, 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 no. I, I, both my oh, missiles no. missed last round from players. From an I got hit by one missile, but my jet was fine. Right, we'll mix teams up next time, so the rest is just one sixteen. I'm not arguing teams. I'm saying it. Yeah, I watched Squirtle f fire about fifty flares, and it did nothing. And yet yeah, we're, and we're, and we're firing, and our missiles are missing. It's like we. It looks like my missile was already like tracking him very well. I'm, I'm not trying to like, like, you know, justify it or anything. Our missiles are working fine. That's what I'm saying. The 16. Look, 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 it it just looks. Hmm. But it sure is on like with launch aspect of parameters. Fox two alpha cap. Fox two alpha cap or any viper. Viper hit. Damn. Splash one. Who's in the game still? Okay, we've still got vi two Vipers, guys. We can still do this. I got a shot off the other track. Oh, we've got a first gun skill for a Viper! 
first gun's good for a Viper. Nice, very nice, well done Warren. Okay, brilliant, that takes it to five versus three. Okay, everyone out, we're gonna swap rounds with the aggressors and now the F-16s, because we wanna shake it up as much as possible so we don't get shouted up, shouted up by the super fans. Right. I don't have an F-16. Cap is, oh, uh, you can carry on being an aggressor then. Uh, Cap is SU-27, question mark. <laughs> Uh, can we have... Um, I'm going to stay in the 18, Cap. Roger. Okay, two of you go back to the F-16. I better be something else to make it fair. Bear and Warren or whoever. Whistler. Let's make a three on three. Whistler, be whatever you want. Okay, guys. We're going to spawn in in three, two, one, go. Why is my fucking head, like, offset far left in the F-16? Because you're not a superior head technica. Supercap is super lock. Coming guys, slower than you. Uh, speeding on guard is in there, 15, come back. We can't catch up with you, which is very What do you that? Or you're in the flanker, so you're slow. Oh, that's no, the problem. We'll have to go after burners on. FCC, oh, stick together, stick together, you're all separating. I know you guys flown off, but can't help that. And left to left merge. Pressure. Merge, guys. All of fights on. Fights on. Why are the shit is fucking starting history? Dickhead I am sometimes. Got me a Viper. I got me a Viper. Uh, well done, Cap. No, I haven't killed him. I haven't killed him yet. Nah, he's dead. Oh, yeah, Roger. Okay, well done. Okay, I'm merged with a Viper here, going in for the kill. What's that? I've got superior missiles. Okay. Fox 2. Overgy, 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 Overgy. Overgy. I suppose I shouldn't have warned him. Ha <laughs> Super Cap! Woo! Superior Russian technology! You are a disappointment! Good kill, Squirtle. Did I kill somebody? Oh. You got me in the 15. That was such a fresh. Like, my head tracking is 90 degrees to the left. You. And, uh, oh my god, I was so annoying. I'll have to expand it from the round. Eat missile cap! Fuck you. Great fight between Crash and Kelso. Freeway fight! Four-way fight! Oh, SpaghettiOs! Go on 16s, go on 16s, go on 16s. I'm even, I'm even on the aggressive side and I want you to win. Oh, ho, 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 what happened there? <laughs> Mid-air? Mid-air, mid-air. Mid-air! Great dogfight between Shifty and Unknown Assailant. Shifty and Cats. Even Stevens. And it is just you two left. Winner takes all, I've got, guys. I've got an audio glitch where the F-18 is continuously firing its gun. Yeah, it does that. Ragnar! If I trick myself, I just pretend that it's a prop plane. Shift is being brave. He's being brave. I think he's just screwed himself. He screwed himself. Oh, got now. Mud. Got a dogfight champions here, boys. scoring lead. No, it's not. It's even Stevens again. It's anyone's game. Have they got heaters? They haven't. Kelsey's lost. Oh, he's going the other way. Oh, lost him. Well, he hasn't lost you. Tip shifty, you run out of fuel before him. 
Are we gonna do another fight after this, Cap? Just wondering. What's that? Are we doing another fight after this? Yeah, sure. I'd like to go up 16. And we'll probably wrap it after that. Aggressors can still win. If aggressors win this, they can win the day still. If Shifty wins this, Falcons have won. It's not called a Falcon, it's called a Viper. It's called a Five Minutes. It is the Fighting Falcon. It's a Viper! Unlucky. It's called an A10 Thunderbolt 2. Yep, not wrong. Oh, look at that! Got some hits on him. You can see we're all warmed up now. Oh, that was close. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Even they can't beat. It's like me when me, me and that Tomcat got together. No one can outsmart us. Shift, Shifty, remember the green donut. Shifty's gonna run out of juice in a sec. Yep. He is, and he is. Oh, he's just left his butt right open. This ain't gonna be good. Let's see your bullets. Wait till you're closer. See you in hell's house. Dog fight. We got about five minutes. We gotta wrap this up. Watch out. He's gonna run out of gas shortly. Kind of an important match. We need to end one way or another. Mm -hmm. Is that you out of gas, Shifty? Speed tag again. Good, good. Yeah, they're just they're just perfectly equal. And neither can get the upper hand. Good try there, Shifter. The aspect is so hard, it's so hard to get a lead shot with that guy. Come on! He's really working that hole now, I can see that. Want to work in? Oh, he's released him! Yeah. It's a chance. Just can't get that lead. See those bullets falling away. Offensive low yo-yo from Shifty. I think this corner's too tight for it. Actually, it has worked. Oh, and boy. he's in the Hornet's trap if the Hornet can bring him into a scissor. Eighteen's pulled out. Might be able to pull lead. I'll get lead on it. Yeah, we got some hits. We got some hits. Out of juice. Oh, unfortunately, although you shot him, Shifty, that's a win. Yeah, to I, I, I hit him multiple times. Yeah, well, we know that model works, so it's a, it's a win to the aggressors. Right, deciding round, guys, deciding round. 
How he's exciting! He's got some right rudder damage, but he's otherwise intact. Yeah, um, yeah he can fly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. everyone else. Um, uh, Squiddle's got to go. I'm going to be an F-16 out of my slot warrant because I want to be in the, at the beginning. I want to be at the start. Okay, jump in your planes, guys. Last deciding round. It's gone down to the Y yet again, like it did um, last week. Anyone could take I it. I can't. I can't do the F-16 because it's bugged for me right now, or my head's canted 45 degrees off. <laughs> Right, guys, three, two, one, go. Deciding round caps, putting his burners on so you can see me, so I can lead you in. Who's the one who's a mile ahead? Um, well, they were supposed to be catching me up. I'm only 450. Come on, guys. Oh, you're talking about your team? No, uh, I'm at 16. No, yeah, we're reforming. Where are you going now? 16, 16,000. Yeah, it's me. Guys, one of you is like three miles away from the others. Any reason for that? And I mean a long way. I'm with two here, I don't know who the one is, Milo. Uh, they're, cup they're lower than us, one of them is. So one of you detach. One of, them. one of you detach and go and get that single, the rest of us on the main flight. Prepare to fight. And... Fight. That up turn cap, didn't you? Damn shit. Who's in the SU-27 I just got gun hits on? Uh, ah, shit! No way, is that you, Squirtle? Oh, shit. I think that was a team kill. Oops. Yeah, you just friendly fired me. Do that. That's embarrassing. Bear, I'm so sorry. Shifty, was that you that I killed? I'm so sorry. Oh, don't worry about nope. it, guys. Doesn't matter. No, you killed Whistler. Just a thing happens in combat. Splash 15. Well done. So I look like a viper. Altitude. Well done. Altitude. Anybody help? I've got a 27 closing on my ass. Oh, shit. Shifty, well, I can't see you anywhere. Down low. Looking. Use your F10 if you want, boys. Flares out. That's just a target drone today. See flares anywhere? I see. Shit. I don't know where he is, boys. I'm going to look on the map. He it's is. Four against one. He's right on our, my right hand side. Coming. Are you on the deck, Shifty? Yeah, Roger. Come Slow on. circles. Heading towards you now. Shifty, give me a flare. Should be heading towards him now. Who's flaring? Who's flaring? That's a hostile. That's a, that's a flank? No. It's a viper. Swear it's a viper. Where's the flanker to you, Shifty? We've got you. Fox 2. Fox 2. Yeah, there's oh. something wrong with these Viper fl uh, Viper missiles. Did you get they him? Don't, they don't go to flares yet. Did you get him? What's the score, guys? There you go. Good. Yay! Four zero. I don't know, Shifty. There was that one fight, and I did dodge a sidewinder with my Tomcat. So. Well done, guys. I had a fucking shit flight there, but it happens. Okay, guys, really well done. The 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 Vulcans, the Val Vipers, one by one this time. Last time, the aggressors, one by one. And we're swapping around teams, we're swapping around members, so this is as scientific as we can get it. Um, so, they did really well. Any final thoughts on how the Vipers performed, guys? I can tell you this right now, that it outturns the flanker for sure, as I just experienced. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, that but only barely. Heavy. Flanker's too heavy uh, for that. Uh, um, but it's just, uh, it, it's a good turn fighter. It's really good, and it, but it's also got uh, good acceleration. So, I mean, it's really on par with all the other fighters, I think. It's just uh, how you fly it is what's important. Performance-wise, yeah, very good. I think the gun sight lets it down. Once okay. we get gun sight, it's going to be awesome. Watch out. Versus the 14, I'd say it's not the machine, it's the man. Watch out. I mean, I'd really even Stevens fight with an F-14, but whatever, I'd, you know. I don't know. I gotta go. I'll see you later. See you guys. Thanks for turning up. We've got some good data there. Uh, we'll do one more of those in a couple of weeks and that's it. Ta-ra, everyone.